Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I apologize in advance if I'm a little bit off center because there is a lot going on in this room currently. I'm prepping for a pop up and this is where a lot of the things are stored. So I'm just kind of sort of like trying to fit within a very confined space. In this video, I am going to be talking to you guys about VAT taxes. And honestly, as the words come out of my mouth, I'm thinking, oh, boring. <laughs> but I am gonna try and make it as engaging as I possibly can. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Taddy G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me whilst I build my clothing brand as well as trying to drop tips, tricks, gems and all of that good stuff. So VAT. Shivoshiva is registered as both a LTD and it's also registered for VAT. Being registered for VAT means that I have to charge my customers taxes or VAT on any purchase goods on my website. VAT stands for value added tax and the standard rate is 20% on most goods and services although there can be a reduced rate of 5% on particular kinds of products and there's also products and services that are actually exempt from charging VAT meaning that they've got a 0% VAT. This money, this VAT that's collected is then paid to the government. As a business in the UK you have to register your business for VAT if in the last 12 months your business has turned and over £85,000. And this brings me nicely on to Awesome. I'm really, really excited to tell you guys about Awesome's brand new campaign, Muscle Up Your Hustle. Awesome has teamed up with TV's Spencer Matthews to help budding entrepreneurs like you and I set up cash generating side hustles. You always hear people talking about how you need to have multiple streams of income and the people at Awesome are actually helping you bring that into fruition. I have a link for you to sign up to some invaluable resources from the Awesome Business Library. The resources include 36 proven cash generating side hustles and their models, advice videos from Spencer Matthews, insights from Awesome's masterclass with Stephen Bartlett, so that's diary of a CEO, and many more different things. And guys, these resources are absolutely free. All you have to do is click my link and sign up to receive the resources guys let's get started with these side hustles stop sitting on it if you needed like a sign to start let this video be exactly that but yeah let's get back into my video so as mentioned you have to register for VAT if your business has made over £85,000 in the last 12 months however you can voluntarily register your business for VAT even if if your business is making under £85,000 in the last 12 months. Now, I'm sure you guys might be wondering why would you register your business voluntarily as, you know, VAT registered given that it's tax that you have to charge your customers and you have to pay to the government. Well, I'm actually going to quickly go through the pros and cons, the advantages and the disadvantages of actually voluntarily registering your business for VAT. So the first advantage that I'm going to talk about is although you charge your customers VAT and you pay that to the government it also means that you can actually reclaim VAT on goods and services for your business. This means that when you purchase something so let's take packaging for example so you've gone on to kitepackaging.com and you've decided to purchase some boxes and your boxes are £8 excluding VAT. Now I need to test my maths so they're £8 excluding in VAT. So with VAT at 20%, that's going to cost you an additional £1.60, which will bring your total cost to £9.60 for whatever packaging you're purchasing. So now when it comes to submitting your VAT returns, however you do it, whether it's every quarter or whatever it may be, you are then able to reclaim that £1.60 that you were charged VAT, which means now when you run through your business and you're purchasing things for your business, all you need to do now is start just looking at that price before VAT because you know that eventually you're going to get 
back that 20% that you were charged. Now I know £1.60 seems like very little, but imagine if what you're buying is £800, yeah? The VAT that's gonna be charged. So that is a big advantage of having your business registered for VAT. It's particularly good when your customers are other businesses, which means that they can also reclaim VAT. And this means that the prices that you've set for your business remain competitive, despite the fact that you're charging VAT. Another advantage is typically people register for VAT once their business or they have to register for VAT once their business is in excess of £85,000 in the last 12 months, which means that if you are VAT registered, it means people are probably going to assume that your business is making quite a bit of money and this can be particularly appealing when it comes to certain types of people so that be some customers potential lenders potential investors and particular suppliers and that brings me neatly onto my next advantage which is some firms some suppliers may not necessarily want to work with a business that is not fat registered which is crazy I know but sometimes some companies only want to work with other companies that are deemed to be established that are deemed to be big so that is an advantage of being registered for VAT. Another amazing thing that I discovered whilst I was doing my research to film this video is that with the right kind of evidence you can actually backdate and reclaim VAT on products that you've purchased before you registered for VAT so long you're still using the products so take my iMac for example that you see in the background there I could register for VAT today and because I still use that if I've got like all the receipts and all that kind of stuff I could actually like reclaim the VAT on that baby and get that money back so so that is a really big and good advantage of registering your business for VAT. And my final advantage, which I feel like is probably like one of the most beneficial advantages of registering your business for VAT is the fact that it forces you to actually keep accurate records of your business. So for example, I submit my VAT returns every quarter, which means every three months I have to sit there and look at my numbers and, you know, sort them out into things that are VAT exempt or have VAT so that I can then submit my VAT returns. And because I have to do this every three months, it means when it now comes around to actually submit submitting my you know corporation tax those taxes pretty much everything is already done and sorted because I've been going through it every three months just going through it seeing you know what's been going in and out and all of that stuff so it forces you to keep good records which is a good business practice and it's really good even if you're starting your business as a side hustle it is really good practice to actually you know start keeping track of your ins and outs. So naturally with advantages comes disadvantages and I'm going to cover those now. Obviously you have to charge VAT on your items which means that for example say you are charging wow I have to test my maths again guys um say you are charging 80 pounds <laughs> for a t-shirt or a hoodie it means you are going to have to charge an additional 16 pounds on top of that 80 pounds in VAT alternatively you can obs absorb 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 that as your own cost which means as opposed to getting 80 pounds you're only going to be now getting 64 pounds for that hoodie or t-shirt that you're selling but if you do the thing where you're adding 16 pounds customers might start to deem your goods as being expensive which might you know deter them from actually purchasing from your brand because your prices are no longer competitive so that is a huge huge disadvantage for being fat registered another disadvantage is that if you've got a small business but you're selling a lot more than you're buying it may lead to you actually having a massive VAT bill that you have to pay to HMRC my final disadvantage is all the extra paperwork like I said I submit my VAT returns every three months which means every three months I have to sit down for two or three days going through it which is just a bunch of extra paperwork which I may not 
not necessarily you know have time for or need so that can be a huge huge disadvantage and that's pretty much that's pretty much what i have for you guys on vat and being vat registered one day soon i'll actually go through you know what it looks like when i'm actually sitting down doing my vat returns but yeah guys i really really hope that you have found this lovely short video helpful and that you know it's something to think about food for thought obviously with all my videos although i do the research also do your own research and see whether you think this is something that will work for you but yeah thank you guys so much and i will catch you very soon in my very 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 next video